Okay. We are live. Happy Friday, my friend. Same to you, dude. Yep. So just a couple of parking lot items for everybody watching. We go live at 9.15 Eastern every Friday here on the National Technology Management Facebook page. This is streamed also to YouTube and it goes up on our LinkedIn page as well. So you just have to search for National Technology Management. So Kelly, today we are talking about human error and we're talking about support tickets. We're talking about people having issues and really a lot of the IT issues that businesses struggle with aren't necessarily about hardware, software, IT, it's human error. So let's get into it and talk more about it. Yeah, good morning. Uh, you know, human error can mean a lot of different things. It could be just flat out doing something wrong and flat out just not thinking. And I think a lot of what we do, especially with our help desk being so responsive and so quick, we're the victim of, uh, Oh, we know we could call NTM and get it fixed in two seconds. So let's just call that. We won't even learn it. So uh, we're a victim of our own success. And I, and I love that because I love the interaction between the extended uh, customer family and my existing work family. So it, it, any type of interaction makes us human, makes us opportunity to be, to feel and to, and to heal and to grow. Uh, but sometimes, man, it wears our guys out here and there. Um, today is a big day. We're switching over to a new system, a new flow. We're using the uh, internet uh, ITIL language. Uh, and we're trying to get even better. We're always trying to get better. And we are expecting our first call resolution because of our analysis of our tickets uh, to go through the roof. So yeah. we need the dispatch method, which worked really well for years. But in today's instant gratification world, People are stuck doing a project and they're stuck and they need help immediately. So we're going to pivot a little bit and give them what they want uh, and give them instant gratification, even on what we would call lower level tasks. Because when someone's calling in and they can't bold in Word or they're stuck because they can't connect to a VPN or something just so trivial and it literally is user error, I'm a victim of it too. I was in Florida and I was logging on to our VPN and I was using my full email address instead of just my username. <laughs> That's what I mean by you. We get a lot of little user errors like they like, and then they go, oh. So I don't know if we're ever gonna fix those. And I, I invite those. I don't know if my help desk staff invites those, but that's the little things that we 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 work on every day. And we'll, we'll, we'll we love our interaction with our clients. Yeah, I love it. So talk to me about maybe the top two or three types of human error. You mentioned the email one, the username one, typing in the wrong one when you think you have it, but it's not. So what are some other top two or three human errors that businesses struggle with that we can help them be proactive to resolving? And you know what that one is. It's simple. And actually, we came up with a workaround. Was, it is just remembering your password, man. Because nowadays, you can't use the same password. The go-to password ended because that's how the bad guys are getting you. They, 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 you know, they get it through the dark web and uh, you know, they sell it. And you, if you use it on every single thing, you can't, uh, it, it's easy to, to hack. So you got to change your password and it's always something different. And um, sorry, I just, somebody asked me for a, a code real quick. So I can multitasking. Um, so it's passwords. And what we do is we streamline and we centralize the password and we sync it with everything and we make it super secure with multi-factor authentication. It sounds like taking your shoes off at the airport, but it's really simple, really easy. And yeah. uh, it's a pain in the butt sometimes, but you know, we link everything and do a single sign-on and make it secure. So it's not as bad as it sounds. Yeah. So passwords are a big one. What are some other types of human error? Oh man, it could be anything from, you know, we sell phones. It could be from, uh, you know, dialing out incorrectly, dialing out too fast, dialing out too slow. I can't get, my email doesn't launch. My email's out. Uh, oh, just little mundane things. I, 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 some of them will make you laugh. I mean, I could write a whole book on things that make you go, hmm. Uh, I mean, literally we'll get like our, our network's down and it's, and it's there. It's just, they're working from home and they're, 
their their powers out and they think that they can get on. It, it, it's some of the funniest things. You need. And then the, you, the, the light bulb goes on in their head. They're like, oh my God, I can't believe I called you for that. <laughs> you know, somebody's power was out and they were trying to connect to their server at, at work and we're like, um, that power's out. <laughs> so just little things like that. I mean, uh, you know, iPhone stuff, people going to the wrong URL. I just, you name it, uh, screen pops, uh, using the wrong browser, just uh, going to the wrong website. Just, and, and we help, unfortunately or fortunately, we help with everything. Yeah. I say, before you get mad, call us. And boy, does my staff get angry at me for saying that, but they understand why. They're like, we we'll always want to help everybody. And I'm like, I know. Don't you want to have somebody to call and go to? Yeah. You know, it's so funny. We interviewed, as you, we talked about earlier uh, today, a couple of our clients, a few of our clients last month. And, you know, they told us uh, both CEOs of these companies said the same thing, um, which is if our employees are not happy, um, NTM makes them happy because you guys solve their problems. And really, if they have to hear about it, there's a problem, right? Especially when it comes to human error. So how important is it to get those issues resolved quickly? Like if somebody submits a support ticket or they call you, like what's that look like for somebody, like say it's a business owner like myself, I have a password issue, I have whatever, like how important is it for them to get it done fast? Well, I have a secret that I'm gonna share with everybody. And usually it's nothing more than just listening to them. <laughs> it's just, everybody wants to be heard. Uh, I took a call from a, from a long time client yesterday. He called with a, with the smallest little complaint. And I mean, it was small. He even said, it's like, I'm embarrassed to call you. And it was just a, a security setting that I had to tell him no, but I listened to his whole rant read. And, I, and in the end I said, no, you can't do that because of security. He's like, are you sure? And I was like, I'm very sure, but I listened. And at the end he's like, all right, well, thank you. <laughs> so uh, it's important because it's instant gratification, you know, with uh, social media, with, um, ice cream with foods you know you don't feel good you can you can always feel better immediately and you know me being the personal development guy and the long-term guy that i am i always say that anything instant probably isn't good for you so yeah. you know unpack that feeling see why you're under that duress and understand is it really going to impact you in in five years you know if i don't get this spreadsheet done right now is it am i really gonna lose my job mm, probably yeah. not yeah, and did exactly. I cram and wait to the last minute to get this done? And now I'm under the gun. I made myself stressed. Usually, the, the one finger pointing away and the street pointing back at you. But our staff is very compassionate. We're very understanding. Uh, we have big boundaries too, because if someone calls in and screaming and yelling, it happens. And they immediately apologize because we record all calls and they're like, you know, just a little stress. Sorry. Not taking out on you. They know we're we're extensions of their staff, and we're here to help. We're we're sure to help out sitting there switching, flipping the switch to make their life difficult. And yep. uh, I'm chuckling because th this is some of the fun stuff of, of our business. People are human. And there's going to be an element to it, and I do it every day. And I go, oh my god, you know, I, I can't believe it. I, I, all you do is laugh at yourself. Yeah, I love it. So when we onboard a new client at NTM, do we, what's their training process look like? Do we take them to a, through a training process where we educate them and all their employees about how to not only A, get support, but B, be proactive so that these human errors don't continue to pop up? Absolutely. But like with any system, there's always loopholes. Our loopholes, especially to, in today's environment, are getting everybody to the training. Yeah. Uh, and it gets frustrating because the, the people that don't attend the training, or inevitably the people calling in with problems or don't know how to call in or and or complaining the most because they missed the training so again it's you get what you give in the world um a lot of times if something bad is happening it's because of something you're doing if there's a lot of good in your life there's something you're doing to make it good so uh you know, realize that everyone's human and, and everyone and assume positive intent nobody's out to get you there's nobody out to get anybody trying to get bring that make their life negative if they are that says a mountains about that person. That person needs lots of hugs and kisses and compassion. But uh, for the most part, people are good and people mean well. Uh, you know, we are analyzing and figuring out ways to make things more self-service. I sure in the hell don't want to be like some of these big companies, uh, AT and T, say, say this book, where they try to solve everything automated because 
everybody's different. We, we, we want to bring that personal touch back and be, you know, we want EOS here and, and our, our vision is to be the best and be easy to do business with. Two bold ass, gregarious, hairy, ass, big, hairy, audacious goals is what the yep. word I was looking for. And uh, we, yeah. achieve, um, we do, and uh, we're about to get even better. So look out competition. And I, uh, any, if any of our clients are listening to this, I, I like feedback, man. I, I listen. Some people may think that I'm stubborn and I'm, I'm listening. I want to be the best. My staff is the best, uh, but sometimes it feels like we're the tallest midget and that uh, we're playing in a game that's it's too easy to win, but we're going to go so extraordinarily high and above what expectations of customer service in this time where people are just mailing it in and being mediocre. And that's just not, uh, not in my DNA. It's not going to happen. Yeah, I love it. Kelly, we've got an offer for businesses who don't work with us and who don't have solutions to their technology human error issues. And they can check it out at trustntm.com forward slash offer. We've got an ebook that will teach them how their IT can be handled by us as well as their cybersecurity. But where else can people find out more about you and more about how to solve a lot of these human error type issues from NTM? Well, we have all these streamed on the, on the YouTube channel. So search National Technology Man on YouTube. Uh, you know, we're all over LinkedIn. Uh, you can always give me a call. We are uh, rapidly moving customers from mediocre IT over to real big adult IT. Uh, we signed someone up yesterday that spends uh, $600 a month in IT and they signed up with us for $3,600. Uh, and it wasn't because we're, it's because we included everything and streamlined and centralized it. And as we went through and picked through, they realized, oh, we are spending a lot more when we value our time, and our downtime, our efficiencies. So, um, you know, call me and, I'll take my time and walk you through everything. I am the one that does the sales. So we talk business processes and it's, there's no stress because I'm the owner. I don't have a quota. I don't have a boss. I, I do have a boss. I answer to my staff uh, and they, they love me and they support me. So I make the promises and they deliver on it. But give me a call. Uh, call me right directly on my cell phone at 248-808-4888. Call me with an issue. Call me with a question. Uh, ask me how I get this amazing pan. Ask me where I get my amazing marketing from. <laughs> Whatever it is. Um, exactly. I, uh, <laughs> People are going to want to know where they got that banner behind your head on your wall. That's That thing is so freaking awesome. I love it. It's not a banner. That is a big actual... It's, a, it's um, an acrylic uh, it's, sign. It's a sign yes. that one of our partners made for us. I have it at my home office, which is here right now, in my office at the at the actual office. I, I'm blessed with a lot of amazing individuals in my life. And this came from a, our local, it's a company called Partner House, who has a, it's a local meeting place and they're fantastic and growing like, like wildfires. Uh, it's a shared office space. The, the, the owners over there are amazing people and they connect me with uh, everything I need. You know, I, I, yesterday, I had my friend Ronnie Carmel taking care of cars. I, I just, I have, the most amazing support staff all the way through to you that make my life a lot easier. So I don't have to have user error because I'm using so much of my mind to do mundane tasks. Yeah. Love it. Kelly, this has been a great technology corner. We'll go live again next Friday, 9 15 Eastern. Thanks for hopping on with us, sir. Happy weekend. You too, brother. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.